What's up, YouTubians? It's a Malcolm Monkey Movie Reviews. Today I'm here to talk to you about The Boss, starring Melissa McCarthy, uh, Christine Bell, directed by uh, Bell, Ben Falcon. Ben Falcon, I think it is. Uh, Melissa McCarthy's husband directed this. He also directed Tammy, which was not a very good movie. So, what did I think of this movie? This movie was shit. Okay? And let me tell you, I like I like Melissa McCarthy a lot, okay? I thought Spy was maybe the, the funniest movie of last year. I actually really enjoy movie Identity Theft. I, uh, you know, she's great. Bride, Bridesmaids is classic. The Heat is classic. But... Her husband is not a good director, okay? I'm sorry to say it. It's nice that the the studio gives them money so they can make the movies together, husband and wife. And you know, I'm sure they make a lot of money, but it's just very amateur comedy. And it's, you know, I thought the concept for the character was interesting because she is usually playing the bumbling person but now here she's the lady in charge. But the story is, is just shit, okay? She gets locked up inside her trading. She goes to stay with her former employee and her daughter. And then she takes over the daughter's Girl Scout troop to make it into a business. And, you know, that's not a bad concept, but there have to be some good smart comedy within it and it's just a lot of you know stupid scenes that you you don't really laugh at the stupid scenes maybe one or two of them you know there's some funny moments in the girl scout meetings but other than that it's just it seemed like a wasted attempt because she Melissa McCarthy very talented okay I, I'm excited to see what she does in Ghostbusters, everything she does with uh, Paul Feig, very good. She should just, she should continue to make movies with him and maybe some other comedic directors, but, but you know, her husband, I, I don't know, he, he doesn't know how to, um, to make very effective comedies, I feel like. Hopefully, you know, if they make another one, he kind of changes the style a little bit. But anyway, this movie was just a, a fail on overall on most parts. The character was cool, like I said. Um, Peter Dinklage was in this. He was His character was a joke. And I love Peter Jink Dinklage too. But come on. I mean... They don't, they don't give him anything to work with. He has an assistant who does everything for him. It's just bad, bad, bad. Okay, so I give this movie Rotten Brown Banana. Please don't, don't waste your time with this. I still think the funniest movie this year so far is Brothers Grimsby. And um, thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think, subscribe, see you next time for Marco Monkey Movie Reviews.